Hi all, welcome to JR Games. Tonight we'll be trying something new. I have a lovely tikka masala with rice that I've just heated up. Um, got my big bottle of coke here. So here's about four in a glass. Don't spill it. And I am going to make an attempt to use chopsticks for the very first time. I have never in my life used chopsticks. And I like the look of chopsticks and I've been looking at all sorts of ones online and cheap shops and other places and I just like the design of chopsticks and I've decided I'm going to start along with my collection of forks because I've got a collection of forks and um, a few spoons and a few knives. I thought I'd start collecting chopsticks as well, so I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. So all you Japanese, Asian, Chinese people, please don't laugh at me because i got no idea what I'm doing. I have never used chopsticks before, and I haven't even looked up a tutorial video on how to even hold them. So I'm left-handed. I just took something out. Get in the shot. Is that even how you hold them? I have no idea. Let's try to pick something up. And I got nothing. And I got nothing. And I got nothing again. Oh, I got some. And I dropped a piece. Great. How about picking up a piece of chicken? It's much bigger. Oh, I got the piece of chicken. I've got to get it into my mouth without dropping it. It's pretty hot. What? Well, what? As you can all see, got my Dragon Ball Z wallet here. Pretty cool. How in the world do you pick up rice? You Asians make it look so easy. Probably not even holding these right. Can somebody please comment and tell me how the hell do you use chopsticks? I thought I would go just at this without even looking at a YouTube video. I just wanted to see how crappy I was at it. I'm seeing if I could just learn. And if we say the hell to it, we got the wooden spoon. Let's get some of that sauce into the. Not as nice as the tikka I had the other night. I swear, I have never used chopsticks before. This is my very, very first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. If my phone here starts vibrating and flashing disaster alert, don't worry folks, there is no disaster. Our country is doing a test of the mobile systems tonight for the Disaster alert. I'm doing okay. I'm 
still don't think I'm holding them right. Maybe he's chicken. Chicken seems to be a lot easier to pick up than what. The rice is. I'm quite happy. I just wrapped up the V8 Supercars in New Zealand and Australia. New Zealand won. Scott McLaughlin, champion of 2018. Just 25 years old, had a stellar year, fight came right down to the wire. And I'm making a mess, can I pick up this messy bitch? Pick it up, pick it up. Hey, pick up but you've dropped. And cramp in my hand. Once again, folks, I have never used chopsticks. So please, don't laugh at me. That was a fail. a little bit of a mess. Pick it up with a fork, spoon, whatever it is. Not bad. This was a on special microwavable tikka masala. It's not bad. It's not as good as the butter chicken box that I buy from the same supermarket uh, for ten dollars fifty. You get a tikka masala, a butter chicken, and a size of this whole thing with just butter chicken and tikka masala then you get double this and um, it's full of rice and then you get two naan bread 
They're really good. Unfortunately, I've already eaten them this week. Getting cramps. I'm going to play uh, um, a game tonight on Sega Master System 2. It's a game I really enjoyed as a kid. It's called Putt and Putter. It's not quite mini golf, but it's not quite golf. Um, you'll have to wait and see. And uh, I'll have it upload two hours after this goes up. So stick around. I'm oh, making a mess again. I really wanted to try this without getting a tutorial. Just to see if I couldn't figure it out. I don't know how I've done. Made a little bit of a mess. Kiss. Greatest band in the world. I went to see Kiss when I was 17. Front row, as I've been the front row of every concert I've been to. Always requires a waiting line from 9 o'clock in the morning. No big deal when you go and see your favourite band. Take some alcohol with you. Drink all day on mine. That's it. But you had Gene Simmons. Bumbling away at me on his face. Just as far as the camera is, to that wall over there where the crutches are, that's how far away Gene Simmons was from me for about 75% of the songs. I mean, it wasn't him there, it was Paul Stanley. So epic. Wow, even faster now. I invented a new drink by accident earlier. I um had a little bit of juice, orange and mango, in my cup. Bigger mug than this, a beer mug. And um Thought, ah, what the hell, can't be bothered going clean it out, take a little bit of juice, shouldn't matter, it's all going in me. So I poured this Coca-Cola into it. And you know how we've had blue Pepsi with blueberry, Pepsi, blueberry Coke, we've had raspberry Coke, we've had vanilla Coke, this was orange and mango Coke. Still look black, but you could have a hint of orange and mango. Believe it or not, it tasted really nice. But it's not numb drinking. I don't have any orange and mango left. Now all the chicken's gone. Now we just got rice. 
So this is probably going to take me a little while. So, I'm getting better. First couple of times I couldn't pick up anything. Well, folks, still got some rice left, but just gonna call the video there. Made a little bit of a mess. Took a little while to get started. Got some cramp. Just gonna take some practice. But that was eating for chocolates for the first time. I think it was cool. <laughs> I'm gonna practice some more. Maybe get some noodles out and. Um, do some practice with noodles. Anyway, pot and putter coming up after this. So, uh, to see you next time. Peace out. See you later, folks.